Hi YouTube, so this is my first update on the A3 Sky Warriors for my USS Enterprise project, and these Hasegawa kits are just so nice. But the one thing they don't come with is crew, so I hit the spares box and found uh, six crew, fit them in there, and then proceeded to build out, paint, and decal the cockpit, which, you know, builds out really nice. I glued the cockpits together except for the dashboards or whatever you call them because I have to then fit the uh, crew in there. So now I'm giving, some of these are World War II guys, so I'm giving them, um, turning their caps into helmets with uh, this thick super glue. And then I got, you know, cleanup to do on them, um, you know, taking that stick out of there and stuff. As I wait for that stuff to dry, I'm cleaning up these wings. Um, I'm going to put these together and... Man, it's been a while since I did a nice kit. These Hasegawa kits are just so nice. Um, for instance, if you see those swirls, like those just come out with the with the um the lightest stick because they use just the right softness of plastic to be able to get that out. And <laughs> you know, like those were ace kits and these, you know, nine dollar kits. Um um, you know, that was that old uh, Fujimi kit that had fit problems, and, and it's just so nice <laughs> to finally work on a halfway decent kit for a change. And here, I hope you can see in this, uh, in the reflection, so this is, isn't done yet, and you can see all that scratchiness and, and um, you know, the swirls from the plastic and everything, and, and all those, like, fine scratches. They all just came out with no problem with the lightest sanding stick. Just finished one set of wings and those seams just come out so nice. Those seams come together just perfectly. It's just so nice to work on a nice kit for a change. I couldn't wait to see how this was going to fit um, on the uh, base and I think that I, I think it's going to fit fine and and actually the wingspan on the E2 is actually wider. Um, so if I hold those up like that, uh, yeah, it's actually wider. So yeah, so it should fit fine. It's long, but um, the wingspan actually on the E2 is wider. So there's the paints I used to do the crew. I did the uniforms, the medium green, the helmets, insignia white, all the faces, uh, cream. And then their vests or life jackets or whatever um, just touched on some zinc chromite yellow. All right, there we go. Um, those are the cockpits. And I'm uh, going to put those into the fuselages. So here I've put the cockpit and the front wheel well into the first of the fuselage halves. And then followed up with weights in the nose held in with the thick super glue. I just put the fuselages together with the uh, ultra thin cement and a little bit of super glue here and there. Um, now I'm going to let those solidify overnight, um, you know, just the seam all the way around. But yeah, so the cockpits are in um, and the front. Landing gear goes in ahead of time, and then everything else goes on afterward. And then I have the uh, wings over here done. And actually, I just threw the wings on to test fit them. <laughs> Look at that, man. It just fits so nicely. Look at those seams. Jeez. Um, so, yeah. I mean, there's no filling required. So nice. Um, so... Um, I'm going to let those fuselages fully solidify and then work those seams and then put the wings on. Uh, so I believe we're done with the first page. On to the second page. I'm going to start working on the uh, engines I think I'll do next. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and happy modeling.